Welcome to an interview with Jesse WB2IFS about his experimental wireless mesh node. This is very valuable information. So let's get started. Hi, so we're here tonight with Jesse Alexander to show off his mesh networking equipment. Very impressive. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Jesse. Hello. So tell us a little about yourself. Sure. Uh, I'm Jesse Alexander. I'm one of the, I've been a telecom engineer. Right now I'm working for DOD. But, uh, you know, I, fold, I used to, I'm an ex-Bell Labs. I used to be, I was in Bell Labs for about 20 years and that kind of thing. I should say my call sign is WB2IFS. So uh, I've been a ham for close to 30 years or more. Actually. So uh, let's see, I'll tell you about the setup here. Yes. Um, basically what we have here is, starting here, is one of the access points that's been flashed with the Hamnet, broadband Hamnet software. All right. And over here, the main thing, is, the other thing that we have here is a, a Raspberry Pi computer. And beneath that is a quarter terabyte hard drive. Now, when I when I started this project uh, almost a couple years ago, I was I knew I was going to run a database on a system, and when you run a database, you want accurate times and dates. So it turns out the Raspberry Pi does not have its own internal clock, so I had to add one, and that's what this GPS receiver here is for. And uh, of course, it gives us very accurate time and, and and all that kind of good stuff. Let's see what else uh, over here is some power stuff, basically. Uh, 12 volts to 5 volts conversion and this little thing is really handy this is a, a switch uh, normally to shut down this system you'd go in and, t and basically type in your password and log into it and then tell it to shut down but this switch all I have to do is flip it in the other direction and it sends commands to the system and shuts it down so the nice thing about that is I don't necessarily have to be connected to the computer to do that so that's useful so this is ser serving up a couple websites right now. It's serving up a uh, GPS page that shows the satellite that the radio sees, satellites that the radio sees. It also is serving a page that can serve as situational awareness for hams that are involved in, I don't know, a shelter or something like that. It even includes a little chat routine and, and some other things that the hams can use to communicate with each other um, in an incident or, or and that kind of thing. So that's basically it. There are a couple antennas here, and this is the GPS antenna. How's well, that? thank you. So thank you. this is very exciting. So have you used this in any in any real life context? I have not used it yet. This is, as I was telling some other folks, this is the first time, the second time actually, that I've been out of the lab with this thing. So this so, is exciting. This so is you... very exciting. I'm actually connected with all the other nodes, and I actually took a screenshot of that, because that's the first time I've connected to other nodes other than the ones that I, I've, I've got in my own lab. Oh. Right. So, so this is very exciting. Absolutely. Well, we wish you you good luck with your technology thank you so much. and thank you so much for sharing it with thank us and for making for the trip from one county to the next to be with our club tonight and 73 to you too well that's it for now thank you so much for taking time to view this video this is alex rody w3jag